Hello and welcome to a brand new series here on Snowrunner in which we are going to attempt a hard mode series. Now with hard mode you have to pay for your fuel and repairs, you have to pay for your vehicle deployment, you have to pay for your vehicle recovery, you have to pay every time you load cargo automatically, you are not able to sell your trailers or your semis, you sell your trucks and equipment for half of its price, contests are restricted to the number of tries you make, you cannot change the time of day. You have to search for facilities with the cargo you need by yourself. Can we meet the challenge? Let's find out. Let's go. So you might be wondering, it's 2024. What can you possibly bring this new to SnowRunner? Well, if you ask that question, you've clearly never seen any of my trucking content on the channel or my Twitch, YouTube, my Twitch uh, SnowRunner series that we do live and also post to the channel here. It can get disastrous, it can get hectic, I'm not very good. But also, we're going to put our own twist on it, we're going to use, try and use some different vehicles where we can. And uh, in that, we are going to retain. And if we go to truck storage, we are going to sell. We're going to get rid of the Chevy CK1500. And we will get five and a half grand for that. And then we're going to jump into the truck store over to scouts and we're going to purchase for under 10 grand the land rover 109 and we'll purchase and deploy that so we're going to be using some mods and we've got all the dlcs up until phase 12 we're waiting for the year four pass to drop obviously and yeah we're going to try and work in what we can where we can make it our own I'm going to start by customizing over here as well. So we're going to stick an off-road gearbox in here. And we'll sell this one. We are going to put some raised... Probably not to get to the raised, actually. Let's check some other bits. Our frame add-ons. We're going to put the camel fuel on the front. And we're going to put the fuel roof rack on. And that will give us an extra 480 litres. The vehicle itself holds 70 litres. So we've got four or five refills there, which is pretty darn good. We can't get the snorkel. The diff lock is engageable. Our winch. We'll stick with the one that there is. So we will. We'll go to suspension. And we're going to go with race suspension. Three grand. Just to give us that little extra clearance. We'll sell the stock. That leaves us at 850. So when we've not got a lot of money going out. And then I'm not sure if we've got any lights that we can really stick on here. That'll get rid of our roof rack. On the bumper, we might put the protection and the snorkel on. Rims we're not worried about. And colour scheme, we're going to go with blue. We go midnight blue. That's us. Let's get out. Let's get going. So, since this is hard mode and it is quite a challenge, we're going to be doing things our own way. We're going to try and be as thoughtful, as careful, as logistical as we can be. We're just making sure we spot all those trailers. All, uh, I passed our beloved fleet. If you've ever seen any of the other Snowrunner content I've done, you'll know I love that fleet star. So what we're going to do today is go out and try and hit a couple of lookout posts and grab some upgrades. Sorry, I'm about to lose my voice. And hopefully, <coughs> excuse me, hopefully get the... Uh, the Scout 800 back to the garage and we will sell that. That is going to be a, a pick up and sell. Now everything we come across we're not going to sell uh, because we're going to need them. We're going to need them to work the maps because we're hard mode. We've not got any money. We've got to use what's available to us before we can you know, start bringing in any sort of income that we can buy the things we want. So here we have a upgrade, a raised suspension for the GMC.
this series is going to be a lot more methodical. I should imagine a lot slower than if you've watched the Twitch series recently. On that we go out, we have a lot of fun, we take risks, we get stuck, we roll our trucks, it doesn't matter. In this series, we don't really want to be doing any of that, if we can help it, because that all costs. Also from change, from my uh, regular sort of content, things you may be more familiar with, I'm going to try not to just babble on so much through this. We'll have periods where we're just playing and just doing. And, you know, we're driving from point A to point B. We'll enjoy the scenery and the sounds of the game. Now we will pick up and trigger as many jobs and tasks along the way. We're not going to do them yet, but we'll, we'll have them all activated. Just grab a little top of the fuel. That fuel tanker is one of ours for us to use. Because we have to pay for fuel, we'll be using as much free fuel as humanly possible. We've got some cement blocks down there. Farmer's truck out there. We're not ready for that. And with regards to fuel, with Anchors that we have to use, or that are designated for deliveries and for the jobs, we can take fuel out of those as well. As long as we deliver a fuel tanker with 10% of its capacity in there, it'll accept it as a delivery. Same goes for trucks. If we have a truck that we have to go and rescue or pick up, as we drive in, we are allowed to take the fuel out. Um, you can deliver a rescued truck completely dry, empty it out as part payment, I see it, part payment for the, the work that we're doing. Now usually I do, I do like to play in care. But I think because we need to be seeing everything around us, we don't want to be having too many collisions and getting stuck. So a lot of this is going to be our cab for a change. And now that we're out here, what we want to do is hit a lookout tower that's just up in those hills. And I believe there's two three upgrades along this route and then that should bring us to the scout get the diff on all wheel drive it's on all the time the diff is switchable which isn't an issue where's our track that way I will be trying to run this as clean as possible on the early maps. It'll be a lot more doable for me because I know them a little bit better. And by clean, I mean not jumping into the map all the time. Yeah, you know, there are times I will forget. I have terrible memory, but we'll be looking to get around places without constantly going in and out of the map. We run with the minimalistic HUD. I prefer that. But that will bring in its own challenges as well now because we won't know when we're running out of fuel. And although this only has 70, oh, this has 70, yeah, 70 litres of fuel, and we have 460 litres on board, it does go quick. It is a thirsty girl. And there's not a lot of ways at the minute while up here in managing the fuel. It's not like we can stick it in high gear and sort of use, use less. We're more like a bit of store and damage our gearbox that way. So we're just 
follow the the craggy route. This will take us all the way around the back of the town and up towards the small lake and the boathouse. We want to take that left. That's where we want to go. Now in hard mode, like we said with the the rule set at the beginning, we cannot adjust time. So we are going to try and run a 24 hour day each episode, which I think would be around about an hour. I think it works out to be like three, four minutes per hour. So that seems like a sensible way of doing it. At the start of the year, I got into, I stumbled across a channel, um, Weasel on Wheels. Big shout out to Weasel on Wheels. He has a hard mode series. Absolutely brilliant. Sort of inspired me to uh, get stuck in on that. I have left him comments on his series, telling him how much he, uh, I've enjoyed watching his series and, and how it has inspired me. Have we missed one? I feel like we may have missed something. I don't think we have, have we? I am just going to have to check that map. We did. That is annoying. Up there. turn around. Don't worry, I'm not going to drive up the hill. I don't want to have to come back up this part of the uh, of the map, that's why. Busy conversating. So this is going to cut into our day now. There it is. Cuts into our day and our fuel. That's why we have to try and run clean. That's where I want to be going. We've done Michigan a few times, to say the least. I talk about it all the time in my Twitch streams. But like I say, memory is poor, so I forget so much. And that is uh, race suspension. Oh, I can't open it now. I think that is for the CK for the Chevy. Pretty certain of that. And with the upgrades, there will be some that are solely for specific vehicles. So even if we want to, say, sell that vehicle, to make money off the upgrades, we need to at least keep it long enough to put them on. Now, we've sold our first uh, Chevy CK 1500, but there is another one not too far away. So hopefully by the time we have that, 
you'll have all the singular upgrades that go on the CK and we can sell them either on their own or sell them on the vehicle. I think if the upgrades are on the vehicle, the, the value of the vehicle goes up. So here we are, this is the uh, the back of the town. That's what made me think, oh, we're missing an upgrade, because we normally have, we're not, we don't have one by now. So we've got to make up for a little bit of time and get a shift on. Plus. Right, they're from. Right. Let's get out of here. And this one is the Chevy, so the AAT8V, that is solely for that. So when we get the Chevy, we know that we can either install or sell that. And we follow around on the right. As for other mods that we're running, I've removed the Scout Max Pack, I've removed the Truck Max Pack, and anything like that that gave us free vehicles and you know, a lot of free upgrades and anything like that. We want to earn them and, and you know, we don't want to be gifted. It's supposed to be hard, it's supposed to be a challenge. We run a lot of those sort of mods on the Twitch stream series because we're having fun over there and we're just trying to get through stuff as quick as possible, as fun as possible. Here we are serious. I wanted to run mods in the series and you know, have the DLCs going because if not it's just the same it's starting with the CK getting the scout getting the fleet working your way up to the, uh, the White Western getting the, is it the P12 whereas at least we can start a little bit different do it our own way. Pick that up. Now here we have to be careful. It gets muddy as hell. Slow and steady wins the race. It's always good that it gives us rain on day one just to make it a little bit challenging. sort of our plan going forward is going to be to get out and try and scout as much of 
Michigan as we can before we start to do any of the real deliveries or anything like that. We'll probably go out, we'll scout here, we'll go into the dam, scout out the dam, we'll head into Drummond, scout out Drummond, and then into um, Island Lake. We'll pick up hopefully all of the upgrades along that way. Possibly try some of the scout challenges. There's, there's, there are some challenges and some tasks that are pretty much designed for scout vehicles. And you'll know the ones they are. Uh, Between the Pines, King of the Hill, those sort of things. We'll try and get them done. And ourselves some money and some XP that way because we need the XP to unlock uh, other upgrades that we can't find out in the wilds and to unlock vehicles as well in the store and then once we've done that we'll then look to start clearing our roads we'll start on Michigan and then we'll probably do a few of the Michigan contracts on the map and then look at moving on to the others now that is all going to take quite some time. This is not going to be a quick series. So we want to attach our winch. There we are. Oh, we f oh I forgot to uh, fill up the uh, the mu the camels. Right. So we are refueling from the roof rack. Good job, there's plenty of fuel in there. We'll get him to turn his engine on, that'll help us a little bit. The Scout 800 has got enough fuel to bring it back on its own. It's just that we don't want to drive back and then have to jump back to here and then drive back. We'll have to come back together. Consider the tow with the engine on like a follow me. <laughs> Plus, if we're going down in the decline, you know, with the engine on, the scout should break and not just ram it in the back of us. Not always, but sometimes. Now, from experience, we're going to need to leave the scout here. pick that up once we get the other side Let's turn our engine off just so that we don't uh, waste fuel head out the all-wheel drive on the scout has pretty decent clearance and in my opinion, that's about all that's pretty decent about the Scout. I've never really kept it long enough to see it fully upgraded to its full potential. But I've always felt like there are so many other better Scouts in the game. But I'm just not, not bothered with it, really. Start our engine. We want to be hugging this nice and tight because if not, the scout will push us in that mud. Will push us through it, they'll push us in it. And go to the other side. They've got their engine on, yeah. used the 109 before. I used the 109 on a New Game Plus 
various saves that I have that I do away from everything else. It's not one that I stream, it's not one that I have ever recorded from. So I'm sort of familiar with its capabilities. Just think it's a really nice one. Like I say, the extra fuel, being able to carry that much extra fuel, although not many spare parts, the extra fuel is handy. And I'm trying to get round to not be able to carry many spare repair parts by uh, not crashing, not destroying, destroying the vehicle. Which, once again, if you know anything about me and my trucking content, or any sort of driving content, um, is, is out of the norm. We normally crash. A lot. going back this way because with both of these I don't think we'd make it through that wet swampy bit to the uh, lookout tower over there I don't think we'd be able to get that we're we'll coming around town and all will be well will trigger the uh, road slot is at the rock slide which is just up a ways through town we get our metal from there we do have a trailer over there that's got some goods on just the other side of town we have another trailer that has some goods on at some point we'll bring them, especially the large trailer, we'll bring that out so that we can use that. It's difficult to get to and you, I, I don't like to pull that big trailer about when we park up on, in town somewhere and rain everything off. But that is getting some way ahead of ourselves. Felt like we were stuck in gear there sometimes just by bringing up the gears putting in neutral and then coming back again gets, gets the truck going how am i for fuel With the money we're going to get from selling the scout, we're hopefully going to be able to afford. Well, we should be able to afford some new tyres. And possibly a new engine, but I think we're going to have to do it in the right order because we're going to need to sell the parts to, to buy parts. So I think the biggest return will be on the engines. If we buy a new engine, sell our old engine. We should have enough money to then buy some larger off-road tyres. I think the Hummer tyres fit on here. That might be what we go with. Because we've got some off-roading to do. basic on the inside. Does the job though.
hung up by these trees. A little bit easier. Further ground. And cross over. There we are, almost back to base, garage in front. So it looks like we'll be doing our next task and challenge in the night, which adds a little extra spice to it. So we're coming in on this side. We want to pull up next to the fleet to start with. Because again, we want to make the most of our fuel and the fleet star is absolutely empty and broke, broke as hell. So if we've got to refuel, uh, we want to come out of the scout and we're going to put, how much goes into the camel? Oh no, we won't put it on the camel, yeah, we'll put it in the, uh, in the fleet star. Oh, it's going to drip out, so we don't want to do that. That's a waste. Silly me. We'll put that in the camel. We need to fix it up first. Okay. We'll have to do that later then. We shall recover the scout then, and we shall retain the scout. So, back in the landy, recover the Land Rover, and we wish to, to customize. So the engine is two grand. Tires are going to be about the same so if we go for the 2.6 liter it doesn't need to be a massive upgrade just just a little bit although i reckon the four oh now we'll just go for a small upgrade for now we don't want to we don't wanna be doing too much the more power i have the more likely i am to damage myself so four grand. I think we go for those. 
the 3.5 inch. They're excellent, excellent and good. So if we purchase those, we can sell our terrains. 1300 is what we've got. I don't think there was anything else we needed. I mean, wheel parts probably would be pretty handy. So that'll do. That is us. So we'll leave the garage. And we're going to just quickly top up all of our fuel down at that fuel tanker. Put our lights on. And then we will go and do the uh, beyond the pines or between the pines. Well, hey, see? Extra, extra power there. And just become a, a little more unstable. But hopefully that will help us through the mud. Once we stick it in a low gear, we'll be able to power through the mud and such. In time, we may even go for uh, an even higher race suspension and some bigger tyres. But look how we're powering through now. We can get absolutely anywhere. And this is going to make it easier so we can do some of the scout challenges on here, earn ourselves some XP and earn ourselves some cash money. Tracking that. So on the way to this location, we'll also pass another lookout tower. It should reveal some things on the map for us. Like I say, most of the things we know, or everything on this map we know, I'm pretty, pretty confident in remembering stuff here and in Smithsville. We'll, uh, we'll not deliver anything without activating them, so we won't, we won't do a lot of um, pre-empting loads. So although we know we need X, Y and Z to complete certain tasks, we'll make sure we activate a task beforehand. Adds a little bit more realism to what we're doing. wouldn't suddenly turn up and someone be like, oh, I need two service parts and some metal. And you're like, ah, oh, that's what happens. I've got two service parts and metal in my trailer. But that's why we'll go around and trigger most of the jobs beforehand. We may not stay in screen and trigger all those. Just some of them. Those few seconds, that's like 20 minutes in game. Come on, Landy, you can do it. So we're on our way to the top of that hill between those pines. Although I actually think they're spruces. I said between the spruces, it's not the, it is, not the pines. That's me saying it wrong.
just out here destroying nature. So there we are. That's 1,000 in the pocket and a 60 XP. And we're up to 2,400. Making progress. I want to go back pretty much the way we came. Which isn't always easy. Because you want to try and get your nose pointing forwards or pointing down as soon as possible. If not, that's when you start to roll. We could follow on the track through and around the back of the garage. But I think that terrain at this point might be a little bit too much for us. Let's try and get a lower gear before we completely obliterate ourselves. Yeah, just that particular route around the back of the garage is a bit much. So we're going to head down to the farm. We're going to cut through the farm. That's not going to help the engine, is it? Stuck it in high gear. Not going to help the gearbox either. Should have gone for a lower gear as well coming down there. But we made it. So we cut through here. Eventually we'll be popping here to pick up some consumables. There's always a couple of drop-off jobs here as well. Still don't think we're ready to get that truck. We'll probably need the bigger tyres or a bigger engine to get that out of there. We'll probably, we'll possibly be able to do it, but it will take a lot of time and a lot of fuel. And at the minute we don't want to be wasting either of those. station. They have a fuel tank that they'd like us to find. We also have a fuel tank there that we can siphon a little out of. And that only needs 500 litres left in it. We can take all but 500 litres out of that, which is quite a lot. So next up, we want to try and get another upgrade that's down in the swamps this way. Now in the daylight I've driven past this so there are 
pretty good odds that I will drive past this and miss it. We shouldn't. But we might. If we stick to the left, it's just beyond these trees. That is probably my only bugbear with this game, is the uh, unbreakable branches on the big trees. But some of these you can just plough through. But you get spruce and you cannot bend its uh, branches. So this one is a SnowRunner gearbox. Fortunately it doesn't go for ours, but the uh, this next Chevy when we get one, that'll work on there other Land Rovers, Hummers and, and all sorts. So this would be a part that we will keep. So let's try and make our way out of here. Now some people would probably go a different route. they come down or up the hill in front. I've never taken that route, so I'm not going to try and risk it on a hard mode series. So this is this is gonna be playing it safe and quite methodical to start with. There will be risks later on, but right now we just need to get everything we need to get to scout up the maps. I mean, I haven't decided yet. There may be times when we move on and maybe start scouting and looking for upgrades in other maps that we know that are there. So if we've got a vehicle and it says this part can only be found in X, Y, and Z, we may head to X, Y, and Z, try and scout and find that, because that would help us with the task that we've got where we are. But we wouldn't do much more than that. We wouldn't. Uh, go to a new area and go try and grab all the, the trucks and stuff. So if we head this way, we have got ourselves a lookout tower up here. We don't want to have a job activated. If we're not doing it, I don't want it on there because I don't like the uh, the bits being on the screen for things we're not doing. What's the time now? Three. So I think what we'll try and do... We'll head down this way. And we'll trigger King of the Hill. We probably won't have time to do King of the Hill, but we can get it marked up and ready. around this end. Side. 
There it is, this is King of the Hill. And actually, we will start tracking that. But, I don't really like to uh, start these jobs if we're not going to finish them. So that's going to be it for day one. Our first outing in Snowrunner on hard mode. Tomorrow we'll pick up and we'll do King of the Hill and we'll try and hit a few more outposts, grab a few more of the upgrades and uh, see where we're at come early morning after that. So hopefully you've enjoyed this. If you have, you know what to do. A big fat thumbs up, likes, comments, subscribe if you're new and hopefully I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye for now.